So Chris, uh, can you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Chris Bird. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Sports Tours International. And we're Europe's largest sports tour operator, um, taking over 30,000 people a year to participate in running events, cycling events, triathlon events, all over the planet. Um, and we also have a leisure business, um, free wheel holidays and whereabouts holidays. And we also represent the world's number one active leisure resort in Club La Santa in Lanzarote. Yeah. What's your uh, plan to bring your staff back and what uh, preventative measures do you have taken for COVID-19? Well, we've, we've, what we've been doing over the, over the last couple of months is, is um, communicating with the staff and um, those that have been furloughed um, and those that have been working from home to ensure that they um, are comfortable with coming back to work. Um, some will come back straight away over the next week. Um, some will come back over a, a, a period um, and then others will come back uh, when when the uh, when we're fully operational. Um, the way that's working is we've done deep clean of the offices. Um, we've obviously all our tech um, equipment has been cleaned by your good selves, um, which I strongly recommend anybody does, um, even personal equipment that, that our staff use. Um, we're putting screens up between all the workstations where people people work. We've restricted rooms the room that we're in now um, is normally eight people but we're only restricted to four people and um, the use of the kitchen area is is done on on a on a, a, um, a one in one out basis uh, maximum four people um, we're creating an outdoor space as well so people can go out and um, we've got heating out there so they can go out and sit outside get some fresh air um, but we're, we're we're an active business so you know we we, we encourage running and cycling um, everybody's got free membership at the gym um, so we encourage people to be active and healthy because the one thing about the research around COVID is people that are active and healthy um, have got a better chance of fighting off the virus and I'm, I'm glad to say that our staff are very focused on on health and well-being um, we have a regular webinar with um, a company called Harrison Ross who do our physiotherapy um, and health and well-being programs they talk to the staff about how they should be looking after themselves if they're working at home, how they should sit, how they should exercise, and same in the office here. So we've done a, a whole raft of, of different things to keep people healthy and happy, um, but also the main thing is to keep them safe at work. So sanitising stations, plenty of signage around to give everybody the, the, uh, the, the direction that they, they may require. Everybody has got um, a, a desk pack, um, and in that desk pack, and everybody's got has got their face mask if they want to use it, hand sanitizer, tissues, hand wipes, um, and sanitizer. So they've got everything they need. Um, but obviously, we, we keep monitoring and we'll keep talking to the staff to see if there's any more we can do. How important do you think uh, tech disinfect services to your business, given like your staff use the workstation and all I devices th- all day, every day? I think now I've seen you guys in action and, and I've seen the quality of what's been done and with zero disruption, um, I would say it's essential now. Um, I think before um, I saw you guys in action, it was one of those things where I thought it was a nice to have. Um, Now I've seen how it works and I've seen the evidence of of how the bacteria spreads, it's a must have. Um, And I would say to any business that, it's an investment not only in looking after your equipment, yeah. it's an investment in looking after your staff um, at the workplace, and that is the place where they spend a lot of their time. So it's a must have. Nice one. Thank you.